All right, as you just saw, there it is. It is beautiful, and we're about to go for a ride in it. Just a little bit low to the ground, just a little bit. Yeah, you can just hear the, the belt out there. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little noisy. It is a new fan belt. Now, uh, what that was, that's the fan, the air conditioner heater fan. Okay. But, uh, for some reason it, you know, it uh, makes, makes noise and then it you know, quits. That's all right. Because what I did have to do, that's another thing, when you check the websites, uh, there is a, gears for the vents, you know, the, between these and the floor and okay. whatever, you know, whenever you change this, the plastic gears strip, or, you know, the teeth get stripped. Okay. Now, they show on the, uh, on the website, you can, you know, I had to take the dash off, dash out, and get down in there, and I read, and they show where you can either just take the, take those actuators off, turn the gear around, and put it back in. Yep. I said, heck with that, I just put new ones in. All right. So it has new, new actuator motors for the, you know, for the heater piece, so. Okay. So you shouldn't have to fool with that either. Of course, the other radio works. The, um, you know, this being an electric, you know, one of the first electric cars, it has what calls the driver information center here. Yep. And right now it's saying door jar, low coolant. Gotcha. I guess that's what the check engine for light, the check light engine. Yeah, the, yeah. The, well, the check, yeah, that might be it. Or okay. I noticed that yeah, again, this this being a I call it a performance car. Uh, you're supposed to run high test in it. Okay. I've only run high test gasoline, uh, but uh, you know after and it. That check engine light, I think, came on just because it sat for so long. Okay. But I think after running a few tank fulls of new gas through it, you know, that check engine light will probably go away. All right. Sounds good. Now, the coolant is okay. I mean, you can check the, uh, you know, the little uh, radiator tank out, out front. Uh, so that may either need a new sensor maybe okay. on it or, on it or probably what it, what it could use as far as I had used Dextron I think it's the General Motors antifreeze for it's not your normal gasoline glycol okay. you know, Toyota's or whatever you use it's Dextron it's General Motors product so it's probably the best thing to do to get another 100,000 miles out of it 20 years or whatever. Yeah. Change the oil, change the antifreeze, and normal car maintenance. Yeah, things normal and car maintenance, and then everything, as far as I know, still be good. I love that shift knob. There's like a little pattern on it, like the the white, like yes. I don't know what you call it, but that is, it's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, because it's six speed with reverse. Yep. So there's either this one or the red one. Okay. Gotcha. Um, It's all right.
I really like this one better than that other one where you gotta we have to find the gears. All the kids looking at it. Yeah. Oh man. Let's see. But it runs. It runs good. It runs strong. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> Tires are off. They're, they're new tires. Okay. Make maybe a hundred miles on them. Wow. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I just sent it to be like drive my wife's old car. So it's gonna work on that. I just never gonna drive to it. Alright. Yeah, the uh, driver information center. Yeah mile per gallon, um, all those different calculations. Um, ages, it gives, comes up with oil pressure, oil temperature, coolant temperature, battery voltage. You have uh, sensors in each of the wheels. Okay. So at the front, 27, 27. 27. I think the I think it's supposed to be like 26 for air pressure in the wheels. Yeah, it says oil life remaining 98, but it reset when I put a new battery in. So like I said, it does need an oil change. Gotcha. But it has mobile one synthetic, so it's good for a while. Miata down there. Miata, yeah. And he lives right next to me and that car is super low. Yeah, I, I hate them when they put them down so long because the wheels are squatting. It's sure an interesting niche of people who do that to their car. They, it, it comes with so many other problems and you know, if you want to do it, by all means, but you know, you're going to scrape on every single bump and, and your wheels are going to, the tread's going to be weird on them. And, Say that that wasn't as bad as I thought. That went pretty well for my second time driving manual. Honestly, I think so. <laughs> now the seat is a little bit far forward. I have quite short legs, so I, I apologize for that. Weather seals, you know, the rubber around the doors. I was gonna things. say, I have a friend who has a C5, and he told me that those yeah. are the most common to go out. Yeah. So, yeah, change it. Yeah, I would get a new gasket kit and strip those off and then glue some new ones in. Okay. Because, uh, Can you show the pop up headlights real quick? Yeah. It's been a while since, since I drove this. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Alright. I think it's also one of the first electronic that you know, call drive by wire. It doesn't have the cable going up to the carburetor. Huh. You know, it actually it's all electronic. Okay. That's it. All right. Cool. Yes, sir. Name's Richard. <laughs> Hi there. Nice to meet you. 
I guess I'm guessing you're his son or something. I'm his son. Okay, gotcha. Um, I love the car. It's amazing. It is great. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. Glad, I'm glad it's finally going so well to take good care of it. Yes, sir. Well, I'm, I'm gonna show you something here. Okay. Uh, that's not all the way closed, is it? Yeah, no. It's, yeah, I did change. Ah, uh, yes, there's the. I did change the clutch fluid a while ago, a while ago, and it's you know it's starting to turn a little dark, but it's still it's still good for Relatively a while. Relatively clear, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably gonna get one of those turkey sucker things and suck it out and, and put in fresh, and you're good until it gets. Dark yep. again. And it's just the same dot three yeah. brake fluid. Yeah, same as same as that. And you can see the you know the uh antifreeze is it's right at the top, so I I'm sure it's probably just a case of uh changing out antifreeze. Okay. special codes okay so one of these hmm. the guy said oh it's a you know, special package all right well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I also hope you all enjoyed that cinematic and I also wanted to do a small disclaimer I am making payments on this car by the way I did buy four thousand dollars I just made a down deposit and agreed to pay off the rest. Am I buying it for $4,000? Yes. Did I pay $4,000 in cash? No. Don't have that much on me right now. Anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and the reveal and the cinematic. And I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. And hopefully we should be doing videos with it by the end of the year to next year. Um, that's the goal. I know we're going to be teaching someone how to drive a manual transmission in that car. I also have a whole uh, build plan and it involves some fast things, so get ready for it. Anyways, that is all for this one. I am Sam, and I will see you guys in the next one.